So this comment totally needed a little bit of a longer video and I'm gonna try to explain as best I can. So for those of you guys that don't know, I have multiple forms of synesthesia due to brain damage from meningitis when I was 19. So I have chromesthesia, which is hearing sound and seeing color. And instead of just thinking the color, Sometimes I do think the color, but the majority of the time I physically see it. It sits down here in the bottom of my eyes like, like bifocals, like colored bifocals. And it's been there for so long that I don't really pay attention to it unless I'm being asked or actively thinking about it. Second, I have a unique form or a weird combination form of uh, spatule, grapheme, etc., where letters have colors. Some of them have smells. Some of them have textures. Um, numbers are the same way. Some have smells and textures, not all, but some. And they have to sit in certain places, like odd numbers always sit lower than even numbers, and vowels always sit higher than consonants. I don't know how else to explain that, but that's for me personally how it is. And then I also have a very rare form called tactile visual. Um, so this is when I touch things, it's a color. So this is brown, like chocolate brown. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, my hair actually feels yellow. I don't know how else to explain that. But um, when I touch things, it's a color. So for those of you guys that don't know what synesthesia actually is, um, synesthesia is where two or more senses work at the same time. So instead of just going to a symphony and hearing the symphony and seeing the musicians play, you are hearing the symphony and seeing color. Even though you're still seeing the musicians, your hearing and your seeing are working double time. Usually it's due from brain damage or some part of an interesting wiring in your brain, having a really interesting, unique neurodivergence, etc. They think that only about three to 5% of the population has actual synesthesia. There are some people that when they hear something, they think, oh, that sounds pink. That is technically a light form of synesthesia. I personally think that three to 5% of the population is a little low. I think most people just don't know because I actually didn't know that the majority of people couldn't do this until 2020. I have lived with this all my life. And I didn't know until 2020 that not everybody can do this. Now, chromesthesia is one of the most common ones. Actually, I think it is the most common one. Um, seeing color or thinking color when you hear sound or music. Spatule or grapheme where letters have to sit a certain place or letters have numbers, etc., is the second most common. There are tons of other types. If y'all wanna fall down a rabbit hole, look up the different types of synesthesia, it will blow your mind. And you will see exactly why there are some people that never wanna be touched or hear sounds, just saying. But tactile visual, it's said that only about 2% of people with synesthesia have tactile visual. And I'll admit that um, sometimes it is the most shitty one because there are things I love to touch and I'm happy to touch all the time. And then there are things that hell to the fuck no, I don't wanna to touch them. So now let me get to the question. So I, I think you're asking me what a rainbow is like to me. A rainbow is just a rainbow. It's just a rainbow. Um, now if I'm touching like fur that's rainbow colored, fur is always blue to me. Anything furry is some shade of blue. Um, anything wood is usually also a shade of blue is probably why I like both of them the most. Um, metal is usually an interesting shade of green. The thinner the metal, the lighter the green. I don't know how else to explain that. There is no letter or anything like that that is a rainbow. Um, every letter has one color. Um, now words may have different colors, may, you know, different whatever, but there's no letter that's more than one color for me personally. And if a letter has a texture, like the number three is fuzzy pink to me, um, a lot of times it won't have a smell. God, that sounds so fucking crazy when you say it. Now, music is a little different because with just one single note, this is why, so I played the trumpet all through school and it's why I almost always had perfect pitch because I could see when it was wrong, when it didn't sit in the right space, it was wrong. So I almost always had perfect pitch. I knew when a note was off. 
But when I hear music, it's always different colors and patterns together. And when I hear a very intense sound that is multiple sounds together, it's always a pattern and so on. I have yet to come across something that is a rainbow, actually. Now I'm going to be on the lookout for this. Wow, that was, that was not cool. So I will say one of the most abrasive sounds for me, like visually, it is just hearing wise anyway, is when wind blows across a, a speaker on a cell phone when you're talking to somebody. That is absolutely painful to me. It is like a conveyor belt of black and white plaid that comes at my face like that. And it, it makes me do this almost instantly, even though it happens all the time when I'm talking to people. But I'm very careful about not getting wind. I'll cover the phone like this when I'm talking. I'm very careful about that because of how abrasive it is for me, period. Just that coming at my face like that. The other thing I don't like is car horns. And it's not just because I'm a jumpy shit because I'm a jumpy shit, but car horns are this intense red and they shoot in like this. Uh, I don't like it. I also can tell the difference between a wood and a metal bat because some of them actually sound pretty similar, but a wood bat is always orange and a metal bat, believe it or not, even though I touch metal in the screen, a metal bat is always maroon, like a deep maroon red color. Now, one of my favorite things to do, and I'm getting off on a tangent here, is take a shower. A, I love hot showers anyway, but B, the sound of rain, the sound of water falling is pink, like kind of a bubble gummy baby, well, not really baby, bubble gummy pink. But when water hits my face, when water hits my skin, it's turquoise. So it's like my own personal 80s pastel light show. Rainbow. I'm really going to have to pay attention. I have yet to come across anything that is rainbow, like even symphonies or music or anything huh i almost feel like this is a new life quest for me now i'm glad you asked this thank you